Are you down with it? All right. Very good. Um, um, as you know, this is more just for Ron and I, but we're getting ready to make this presentation in a few weeks to the Common Thread group. Um, Ron expressed at lunch being concerned about being in his own way and um, coloring the information that was coming out. Um, I know you and I and he and I have had these conversations many times over this past year, but um, what would you like to add to that um, understanding? Hmm. We understand his concern, and we will say that it is a valid concern because there is some filtering going on even with his greatest efforts to keep that from happening. We would say, however, that as always, there is a reason. There has progress been made in the last year, both in his ability to do this and in his ability to stay connected to us. And this will continue. What he does has made great strides during the past 50 years. 50 years ago, when someone channeled these sorts of energies and informations, they would always go into a total trance. They would not be there in the room at all, so from your perception and from their own perception. And when they awakened, they would be fully depleted and have to rest. And it has progressed now to where there are several who have these conversations in front of audiences, and they are awake and aware, eyes open, talking a mile a minute, and able to stay out of the way of the information we are passing through them. Now, we could, when this one asks to go into a completely trance-like state and not remember anything that went on, we, we could do that. But the progress that we are making would be delayed. He has asked to take on certain challenges, and he is making progress toward doing that. And the best progress cannot be made by keeping the levels of consciousness separate from each other. Best they learn to, hmm, yes, best they learn to cohabitate and cooperate, much as they are doing at this moment, and that they learn to trust each other and stay out of each other's way, just as you do when you are sharing a home. Every family member has to learn to do this in a home, do they not? <laughs> they do makes for a much more congenial home. Well, the home here is a body and a mind, a vehicle for several states, levels of consciousness. Now, consciousness is really only one thing. The divisions which you give it by naming them are false, but useful, false nevertheless. Consciousness is consciousness. Awareness is awareness. And what we are doing by proceeding in the manner in which we are proceeding is bringing this consciousness, and others, by the way, this one is not unique, bringing this consciousness into a more unified state so that the answers to the questions which you may have would be available anytime and you would not have to do what you are doing now. Now what you are doing is very, very, very useful to many, many, many people. But there is also use for people who can access us without the trappings. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Please be certain that this one knows to listen to this and perhaps he will stop questioning himself. He should understand that when he questions himself, he questions us. And he knows from very long and painful experience that he really does not want to do that anymore. So all he needs to do is look at that, and we think he will feel much better about it. Thank you for that. And I, I hope you can picture in your head every time he questions me about that, me going over to the illusionary wall and hitting my head up against it, because... <laughs> He does very well in these sessions, and he gives beautiful, solid um, information. So I'm on your team. I, I, I think he's, he's doing very good. And I, I think this gives hope to our others who receive information to trust what they're getting as well, because you don't have to be one that has a website that speaks in front of groups or crowds. You can be just yourself receiving information and trusting it in the same way. Absolutely. There are very great and important messages being passed now, and you know some of these people, who are using their ability to paint, who are using their ability 
to make music, who are using their ability to raise children. And they say, but what can I do? What can you do? Those children are the new world. And their children and their children's children. You can see where this goes. You are raising the new world. What does a painting do? What does music do? What is its purpose? Is it to be pretty? No. It demonstrates and calls forth feelings from one person to another. Now, could there be a better example of how one person affects another? Could there be a better example of how we are able to reach you? We don't think so. A picture is worth a thousand words. Do you not say that? Mm, we do. Well, a song is worth a thousand words as well. There is a song now which is going around your world like wildfire. It is attracting millions of people who can't wait to sing and dance to it. It's called Happy. Ask yourselves why that phenomenon. The song was channeled. The song was written. The song was sung. And the world was ready for it. Exactly the sort of thing we have been talking about throughout this session. Pardon me for rambling on. <laughs> nope, that's just fine. We love it when you do that. Thank you very much for that answer.